pumping iron day 91 um, is back day um, and I'm probably gonna do actually I don't know if I'm gonna do dead best today um, a little tired it's, uh, didn't get much sleep last night but that is expected um, so may not be advantageous or smart to deadlift right now i can always do it next uh, you know cycle um and you know, i'd love my back sort of you know heal yeah or not heal but you know recover um because right now it doesn't really it's not sore or anything like that um so it could and we'll see i took the pre and uh you know ready to ready to go so we'll see you know how we feel in 20 minutes but uh, yeah for right now i don't know if i'm deadlift but i am gonna do lap pull downs single arm pulley pulley uh, rows you know um maybe actual rows you know it's probably the last time i did actual rows and then i was like well i already got weight on the bar so might as well do deadlifts and uh you know so maybe we'll do that route again or maybe we'll just, you know, do more of a bodybuilding focused uh, you know, lift today. Um, but either way, we need to work out in and it'll be, uh, you know, a fairly quick workout. Um, I got class at two and uh, we're going to, you know, fit it in. It's probably going to be around 1130 when I start working out, you know more than enough time, you know, to get a workout in. I right, even if I did two hours, right, which is usually the max, I'd still have enough time to at least walk back and you know, get food or something, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, probably should have eaten. Probably... You know, all the energy, you know, I've talked about this before, way, way back, but um, you know, caffeine is, is like fake energy. Food is, you know, real energy. If you want the best performance, then you're going to have to have both, right? Because, you know, you can have a good performance off one of the two. But if you want a great performance, you know, you really need both, right? Um, because, let's say, you know, the real energy Will last you, you know, longer than some caffeine. You know, caffeine will give you, you know, a few, an hour, hour and a half, maybe, and then you crash, right? If it's like caffeine's jump starting the energy you already have, right, and you get a little surge, but then you're able to maintain it, right? Um, so that's why, you know, pre workout, you know. Work when you crash and that's when uh you know Um, in the event that I wanted, you know, the most, so I was very, very...
caffeine, not the addict, but you know, I'll say, you know, connoisseur almost. Um, taking, taking all with different, you know, chemicals and caffeine amounts. So, there's good ones, there's bad ones, but ultimately, what determines if it's a good or bad, you know, pre-workout is honestly just how much you use. You know, if you take the designated amount, it should be good for 95% of pre-workouts. Negative effects. Um, so, as my yeah. Uh, Right, set one. Really hot. I'll take this off. Oof. Oh. All right. Um. Just gonna have to get through Maybe five five sets here. Five or six. My chest is sore though, which means I did something right yesterday. Um. But besides that, set one done. Let's get, let's just get more reps and drop it. All right. Set two. Too bad. So the pump's gonna be as good. It's a pre workout. But I was talking about uh, caffeine and all that. One benefit of the pre workout is uh, pump is better. I don't know which chemicals, I know salt might be something, or you know, there's probably a bunch of chemicals, but I can confirm the pump is better. It's a pre workout. It's more just a mental confidence thing. You know, you look better, bigger, feel stronger. You know, you feel better, you feel more confident, you'll probably do better, you know? But anyway. That's in the next two. So, so I think that's a smart idea. Do drop sets later. You know, get big weight out of the way first. You know, it's like doing a compound lift. You know, on bench you're not gonna start off doing 135 for you know 20 or so. You know, you go, you go up to you start off, work your way up to somewhere you can get eight, maybe six to eight reps, heavy. And then you'll work your way down to working sets maybe or you know, just lower sets where you can do 10 to 12. Same for same for lap pull um, Then you start doing drop sets and you know, all that stuff just to get the pump. Pumping iron, chasing the pump. 
But anyway, two more. Both are gonna be drop sets from 190 to 160. 130 probably. Triple triple drop set couldn't hurt. That's a four drop set. Thirty-five. Oh, y'all go against the wall. That's smart. Yeah. Slow, eccentric. Nice. Big Fred. Huge Fred. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we finished pretty stereotypical back day. Um, straight back, no deadlifts. Um, yeah, not much to it. Just did pull downs. Um, and I did low pulley rows. Um, and then I did uh, single arm and then straight pull downs. So not much to it. Um, and I did calves again, so. Calf challenge part two is uh, completed technically. Which is good. Um, yeah. I don't know how much else to say. I mean, wasn't the best, wasn't the greatest, but you know, time constraints. We got a lift in. Day 91 was complete. You know, maybe I should have done deadlifts. Um, who knows? We got arms tomorrow. We'll go. We'll go harder. And uh, you know, at the end of the day. It's all that matters is that you go harder than the day before and if you don't go. And you just gotta make up for it in a little while. Um, besides that, you know, on the third day, we got it done. Um, I get some food, protein shake, good class, and uh, we'll be on the third day. And uh, yeah, it's a little gloomy out in California right now. Sometimes you need those days. Um, you know, to appreciate the sunny times. Um, you know, how do you know if you've had a bad workout? Or a good workout, I should say. Unless you've had a bad workout. I really like that. But, it's not to say you don't have, you know, no one likes a good day. Every day. That's why you need, you know, sunny days and good workouts, right? Um, yeah. Alright, I'll see you on the next one.